Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Rory Fitzgerald, and I am the proud principal of Butler High School. Let me start by saying I hope everyone is safe and healthy at home as we navigate through these uncharted territories. We miss all of our students, and especially this incredible class of 2020. We look forward to the day we return to some type of normalcy. Always know you have a home here at Butler High School, and if you ever need anything, please reach out to our staff and administration at any time. It's my pleasure to welcome you to our annual Senior Awards Night. We are celebrating in a different way this year through a virtual format. Although this is not the way any of us want to celebrate our amazing students, it does not take away from this collective group of excellence. This is truly a special senior class made up of so many caring, dedicated, and focused young men and women who are surely destined for greatness. Tonight's ceremony is a tribute to the character and worth ethic of our graduating students. It is also a tribute to the parents, the teachers, the supervisors, and administrators. I also want to thank the many school organizations, community groups, friends, and sponsors who have contributed to the scholarships that will be awarded this evening. I realize you can't be with us tonight, but I hope you are watching from home. We truly appreciate your generosity and hope our relationship continues for years to come. We will do our best to honor the students for the various scholarships and awards tonight, but know that your presence is surely missed. We look forward to seeing you again inside the walls of Butler High School, both next year and for years to come. In addition to the many monetary awards that will be pres presented this evening, we will also present a number of equ equally prestigious accolades to honor talent, dedication, service to both school and community, and most importantly, the giving of one's very best. As you enjoy tonight's ceremony, I hope you will be as, as impressed as I am with the marvelous diversity, richness of interest, ability, and the potential for future success shown by these outstanding young men and women. Before we begin, I want to thank our administrative assistants, Mrs. Debbie Fletcher and Mrs. Barbie Necco for their efforts in making tonight's presentation possible. I also want to thank our guidance counselors, Mrs. Mauer and Mrs. Bunsen and the entire selection committee for their hard work and dedication throughout the entire process. Thank you to our supervisors, Ms. Lynch, Mrs. Greco, and Mr. Doty, along with Vice Principal Mr. Benson for helping with tonight's presentation. And a special thanks to Ms. Horner and Dr. Nishimura for both videotaping and editing our show tonight. Finally, I offer our thanks to Ms. McNell for her contributions to ensure that this event is a success. So without further ado, let's get to the show. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our first two awards this evening are be being presented to the valedictorian and the salutatorian. These students have worked hard to attain the two highest grade point averages in their graduating class, balancing an advanced course load in the pursuit of excellence. I am proud to announce Catherine Descano as the salutatorian for the class of 2020. Catherine will be attending Rutgers University in the fall. Congratulations, Catherine. Our valedictorian for the class of 2020 is Stanley Chen. Stanley will be continuing his studies at the University of Pennsylvania in the fall. Congratulations, Stanley. I'm now happy to introduce Mr. Shannon Benson, Vice Principal of Butler High School, who will present his awards. Thank you. The American Legion Award is given to those students who possess high qualities of honor, leadership, patriotism, and service to our community. The goal of this award is to bring awareness, remembrance, to the proud veterans who have served this nation and to inspire our youth to serve our nation as proud citizens. The members of the American Legion, 
John A. Dean, Post 154, are pleased to present this award to the following two students in order to support them in pursuing further education. Congratulations to Robert Cadillo and Rebecca Warga. The Tilcon Scholarship Award is to a student who possesses outstanding potential in academics, has participated in community service projects, enjoys many different pursuits, and demonstrates leadership qualities. This year's recipient embodies all of these qualities and so much more. The recipient of this year's Tilcon Scholarship Award is Jonathan Limey. The 2020 Yearbook Award is given to two students who have been integral members of the yearbook staff and have always gone above and beyond their assigned duties. They were both leaders and picked up the slack when the team was falling behind. Ms. Fatzer is very thankful to have had both of these students the past two years. Congratulations to this year's recipients, Emma, Emma Vanderhoff and Megan Sweeney. Several years ago, Ryan Lowry, a former BHS student, founded the Applied Science and Performance Institute in Tampa, Florida. ASPI is a 22,000 square foot facility dedicated to the latest state, state-of-the-art technology and science and education. His mission is to change lives through science and innovation. Since then, Ryan has started several companies on the premise of helping people live fulfilled lives through the perspective of positivity. Hashtag Make Positivity Louder is a movement that represents the idea that our perspectives shape our reality. How you interpret a situation ultimately dictates the outcome. Unfortunately, in today's world, we're slammed with negativity more than ever from the media to the internet. The recipient of this year's award is leading the charge to fight back on the best way possible by consistently staying positive and leading by example. This student has risen to the occasion and done her part to make impact on people's lives. This student understands that even small acts of kindness can make a huge impact from leaving positive notes on students' cars, or making sure food staff feel appreciated. This student has created a ripple effect of positivity. We are honored to announce the recipient of this year's award, Catherine Toscano. Congratulations and continue to make positivity louder. On May 5th, 1969, Dr. Charles K. Payne, a longtime resident of Butler, New Jersey, and past president of Butler Triborough Rotary Club, died, leaving a will in which his entire estate was left to a scholarship foundation bearing his name. Since its inception, the Butler Triborough Rotary Club and Butler High School administrators have distributed over $750,000 to high school seniors through the Charles K. Payne Scholarship. Students honored for this scholarship are graduating in the top 25% of their class, planning on attending an accredited college or university, and most importantly, possesses high moral character and are proponents of the Rotary concept, service above self. Congratulations to this year's recipients, James DeRosa, Elizabeth Navs, Amanda Osmolaski, Evan Smith, and Catherine Toscano. The United States Marine Corps gives three awards to students each year. The Distinguished Athletic Award is given to two students, one male and one female, who are all on a varsity team, demonstrate outstanding citizenship. This year's Distinguished Athlete Award recipients are Patrick Voley and Taylor Sue. The Scholastic Excellence Award is given to one student who is recognized as an academic scholar, is a leader among his or her peers, 
and demonstrates outstanding citizenship. This year's Scholastic Excellence Award recipient is Servando Batista. The Semper Fidelis Award for Musical Excellence is given to one student who is recognized as an outstanding music, musical performer, is a leader among his or her peers, and demonstrates outstanding citizenship. This year's Simple Fidelis Award for Musical Excellence recipient is Logan Murthis. I would now like to honor the students in the class of 2020 who are preparing to enter the armed services. Lonnie Manaya, who will be joining the Air Force, Warren Gonzalez, and Cody Newberger, who will be joining the United States Marines. The Debbie Lynch Memorial Nursing Scholarship was started eight years ago. Two weeks prior to her passing, her friends asked Debbie for permission to create a scholarship in order to honor her compassion, love, her loyal friendship, and her treasured generosity. Debbie agreed humbly and wanted this scholarship to support future nurses. Throughout the course of her three and a half year battle with cancer, she always mentioned the profound effects nurses had on her. The nurses she came in contact with were caring, generous, and confident at the most difficult times in her life. She wanted to recognize the sacrifice nurses make for their patients and applaud those, cho those who choose life-changing career paths. Today, Debbie's daughter, Caitlin, is answering her mom's call to share her love and talents as a neonatal traveling nurse in Washington, California, and Hawaii. Debbie's motto was live life, love life, and most importantly, give life. And this year's recipient of the Debbie Lynch Memorial Nursing Scholarship is an outstanding young woman who is compassionate, who is willing to bring a healing touch, and who is striving to give life. The Lynch family, friends, and the Randolph community of St. Matthews are delighted to award this year's nursing scholarship to Tori Aluzo. The Butler Economic Development Committee held an essay contest for our scholarship endowment. They required a graduating student majoring in business to write an essay depicting what changes they would like to see made in Butler's downtown area that would encourage business to want to open on Main Street. We're happy to present our endowment to Thomas Batipi. Congratulations and best of luck as you begin this new chapter in your life. The Paul Titus Memorial Scholarship is donate, donated by the Butler Blue Collar Workers to help a student who looks to advance their education and construction in the construction industry. This year award winner is Christopher Jewett. The Butler Police Association Award is given every year to a student planning to attend a four-year college a university and is pursuing a public service oriented career. This year's Butler Police Association Award goes to Jody Bedell and Alicia McBride. I would now like to welcome Ms. Gail McNeil, Social Studies teacher, to present the next set of awards. Good evening, everyone. It's an honor for me to be a part of tonight's ceremony and to be asked to present some of these wonderful awards. The first award I'd like to talk about is the Dan Sheehan Scholarship. Dan Sheehan was a wonderful person who had three great passions, his love of family, his love of history, and his love of sports. Although Mr. Sheehan did not teach in Butler, his wife Joan was the secretary to the principal for many years and all five of Dan's children went through the Butler Public School System. His children played sports, were in the band, and were members of many high school activities. As long as you had the interest, stayed committed to the program, and worked for the good of the whole, you were successful by Dan's definition. 
The Dan Sheehan Scholarship for 2020 is presented to Justice Struble. The second award I'd like to present is the Pam Crean DeCoyer Scholarship. In the days before there were any organized girls sports in Butler, there was cheerleading and girls gymnastics. Both of these activities required spirit, energy, and a positive attitude. The person who was always ready to cheer on a crowd, that was Pam. Pam could light up a room when she walked into it and she was always ready to find the good that Butler had to offer. She loved being a bulldog. The Pam Crean DeCoyer Scholarship is presented to Alyssa Polito. For almost 45 years, Jean Hastings was an educator who loved kids and loved to make students and family feel as if school was their home. Starting out as a coach and phys ed teacher, Jean eventually became an administrator and for almost 30 years was principal of the Richard Butler School. Jean created a wonderful culture and climate for the students as well as for the staff that worked for him. The Jean Hastings Memorial Scholarship for 2020 is presented to Matt Emon. The National Honor Society is a very prestigious organization. NHS is based on scholarship, leadership, service, and character. High academics will get you an invitation to Honor Society, but your application must also include faculty ratings and your commitment to community service. Each June, the NHS advisor must decide which member or members have made the greatest contribution to the organization for that academic school year. The National Honor Society Scholarship this year is presented to the following three graduating seniors. They are Jake Luciani, Rebecca Wagra, and Patrick Voley. In 2017, the world unexpectedly lost an incredible mom, colleague, and overall human being. Diane Lang was quiet, yet full of service. Diane worked in the custodial department for Butler for decades and cared deeply about all of the students. Whenever she was needed, Diane would make sure she was there to help. The student receiving this award is as service oriented as can be. Someone who constantly offers to help and contribute at a higher level. Thus, we are extremely proud and excited to announce the recipient of this award. The Diane Lang Service Award goes to Servando Batista. The next scholarship I'd like to present is the Jennifer Petschko Scholarship. Jennifer was a graduate of Butler High School and one of the sweetest students I've ever had the in pleasure of knowing. She was kind, she was caring, respectful, and friendly to everyone. Jen loved being a student at BHS and was involved in many activities. She had many friends, and she was someone they could always count on in good times and especially in bad. Because she was an only child, Jen's friends were like her extended family. Tragically, Jennifer was killed in a car crash on Thanksgiving morning six years ago. And immediately, her mom, Diane, her stepfather, John, and her friends gathered to create an award in her name. There are two recipients for the 2020 Jennifer Petschko Scholarship. They are Justice Struble and Evan Smith. The Dina Pellegrini Cisco Scholarship. This scholarship was first presented in June of 2005 
to honor Dina, who passed away suddenly in 2004. Dina was a member of the class of 1983, where she was a well-known student athlete. She was also a member of the National Honor Society, Student Council, and also played field hockey, basketball, and softball. Dina went on to graduate from William Patterson College with a degree in business. This award is highlighted by a beautiful framed print that hangs in our main office as a constant reminder to students and faculty of the true definition of success. The recipient of the Dina Pellegrini Cisco Scholarship for 2020 is Casey Scott. The Florence Athey Award. Florence Athey was a longtime teacher, advisor, supervisor, and history pioneer at Butler High School. She loved the study of history and of all the subjects associated with the social studies department. Florence was a friend and a mentor to many of the social studies teachers who came through her department. Past and present members of the Social Studies Department have tried to honor Florence by selecting a graduating senior who not only possesses many of her personal qualities, but one who might choose a similar career path. We congratulate this young woman as she pursues a career in social work. The 2020 Florence Athey Award is presented to Emma Vanderhoff. The next scholarship is the Bob Buckley Scholarship. Bob Buckley graduated from Butler High School in 1971. He was a brilliant math student who played football and baseball, was a member of the yearbook staff, and was also a member of the National Honor Society. Bob had a quick wit and a dry sense of humor. He was funny without even knowing it. Bob attended Bucknell University, Bob's parents decided to honor their son's memory by establishing a scholarship in his name. The 2020 Bob Buckley Scholarship is presented to Andrew Thomas. The Maureen Rankin Scholarship Award. Maureen Rankin was the first of five children born to Thomas and Jacqueline Rankin. She grew up in Bloomingdale and graduated Butler High School in 1979. Maureen was a loving daughter, a devoted big sister, and a friend to many. She loved animals, good music, and spending time with family and friends. She was artistic, outgoing, and had an incredible sense of humor. Those who knew Maureen would tell you she had an infectious smile and a huge personality. Her death on October 11th, 1988 was tragic, and those who knew her have thought about her every day since. Shortly after her passing, this scholarship was created in Maureen's memory by her family and good friend, Kim Mosier Spokowski, a fellow member of the class of 79. Recipients of the award are not chosen based on academic or athletic accomplishments, but on their essays, which are submitted anonymously and evaluated based on their sincerity, sense of commitment to personal growth and helping others. The scholarship has been expanded from one to three recipients this year due to the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic. While the class of 2020 will graduate BHS like no other before, it, it is our hope that this year's recipients can look at their high school experience with the fondness of all the classes that have preceded them. The elimination of events at the end of senior year due to this pandemic should not diminish what were otherwise four of the most impactful years of their lives. The Rankin family would like to thank all those who generously contributed to this scholarship so that Maureen's spirit can be shared with others upon their graduation from Butler High School. On behalf of the Rankin family, we would like to congratulate the Butler High School class of 2020 
and this year's Maureen Rankin Memorial Scholarship. The winners are Servanda Batista, Jake Luciani, and Alyssa Polito. At this time, I would like to introduce Mr. Dave Doty, Athletic Director, to present the next set of awards. The Ronald Bailey Memorial Scholarship was established by his best friend, Darrell Rankin, after his untimely death in January 2018. Ron was a 1984 graduate of Butler High School. He was a gifted athlete and very well liked. After high school, he went to Keene State College in New Hampshire, where he graduated with a degree in geology and environmental science. After he graduated Keene State, he moved to California, where he obtained his master's degree and then co-founded Stratus Environmental, which is still going strong today. Education was always a priority for Ron. He loved life and liked to live it to its fullest. This year, the families chose two recipients, both who whom have expressed clear goals for their future, have recognized and acknowledged potential roadblocks for achieving those goals, and have overcome obstacles in order to ensure a successful collegiate experience. The recipients of this year's Ronald Bailey Scholarships are Abigail Fieldhouse and Evan Smith. Triborough Little League is honored to present its scholarships to the 2000 20 graduates as it gives the organization the ability to give back to its former players in both baseball and softball. In the words of former Major League pitcher Bob Feller, every day is a new opportunity. You can build on yesterday's success or put its failures behind and start over again. That's the way life is, with a new game every day, and that's the way baseball is. With that being said, there's something about Little League baseball and softball that creates great memories and friendships that will always be remembered by players, coaches, and parents. It has always been and will continue to be a strength in all communities. At this time, Triborough Little League is honored to present this year's scholarships to Joseph Voley and Emma Vanderhoff. We wish them well and all the members of the class of 2020 all the success and happiness the future holds for them. The Richard Rick Slayton Athletic Memorial Scholarship. This donation is given in memory of Rick Slayton, who died in February 2019. Rick was a high school and college basketball player who also coached at Butler High School. This annual scholarship is collected by Rick's family and friends to help honor his memory. This award is given to a male basketball player who is a tenacious defensive player and who displays dedication, leadership, and a love of basketball. This year's award is presented to Patrick Monahan. The Marge Giles Female Scholar Athlete Award. Marge Giles, now a year-round resident of the state of Tennessee, is the Dean of Female Athletics at Butler High School. She is a former teacher, guidance counselor, and coach at BHS. She helped start and coach just about every female sport at Butler High School. The gymnastics team, the girls basketball team, the softball team, the field hockey team, and on and on. She served on many state committees working to improve opportunities for girls to play sports in high school. Up until two years ago, she was also the announcer for our football games. Oh, and the gymnasium at BHS is named in her honor, just in case you weren't sure of how important she is to our school community. The Marge Giles Award is presented annually to that one female athlete who best embodies what it means to be a female scholar athlete at Butler High School, to that one girl who exudes the pride of what it takes to be a Bulldog. The recipient of the Marge Giles Award for the class of 2020 is Casey Scott. The BBYC Award. The BBYC serves as a central feeder system to the Butler High School football and cheering programs. Both football players and cheerleaders learn more than just the fundamental skills of their sport. It is the goal of BBYC that each child comes away with life skills. Each child is encouraged early on to make the most of their moments. To further underscore the importance of youth sports, it can be said that without youth sports, high school and college sports 
would take on a severely different look if they existed at all. Please consider supporting youth sports in any capacity that you can. Due to the recent healthcare crisis, we've, had, we've all had to make the most of our moments. It is, this, it is this theme of making the most of your moments that ties our two scholarship winners. We would like to extend our congratulations to the graduates in the class of 2020 and remind them to make the most of their moments. BBYC would like to present our scholarships for 2020 to Justice Strubel and Evan Smith. The Booster Club, the main support of BHS Athletics, presents scholarships to four seniors who have shown excellence in the areas of sportsmanship, scholarship, leadership, and dedication and commitment to their teams. The recipients of the 2020 Booster Club scholarships are Casey Scott, Elizabeth Nafs, Justice Strubel, and Jason Polins. I would now like to welcome Suzanne Greco, the Humanities Supervisor, to present the next set of awards. The Butler Education Association is very proud to be able to recognize seniors each year at the award ceremony and would like to congratulate all 2020 graduates as well as their parents, guardians, and family members. The recipient of this year's award reflects a strong character and a love of learning. In addition to the scholarship itself, the Butler Education Association offers the wise words of the Dr. Seuss book, Oh, the Places You'll Go, as part of the scholarship award. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Jacob Luciani. The Butler PTA is able to do so much for the students at both Aaron Decker and Richard Butler because of the efforts of volunteers and the generosity of so many people. Even though their day-to-day -day efforts are geared towards pre-K through eighth grade students, the PTA continues to fundraise for high school scholarships. The PTA would like to congratulate all the graduates of the class of 2020 and wish you all the best as you move to the next phase in your life. The PTA is so pleased to be able to keep with tradition and offer two scholarships this year. Congratulations to James DeRosa and Elizabeth Nafs. The Bloomingdale PTA would like to congratulate this year's recipients of the 2020 Bloomingdale PTA Scholarship, Justice Struble and Anthony Catalano. They have made wonderful contributions to the Bloomingdale community for years, and we wish them all the best of luck in their future endeavors. The Morris County Association of School Counseling Directors and the New Jersey Association of College Admissions Counseling sponsor a yearly college fair and then provide scholarships to students of Morris County High Schools. They offer two scholarships to high achieving students. One is for a student attending a four-year college and one for a student attending a two-year college. The recipients of this award were chosen based on their academic achievement and for their college plans. Congratulations to Jacob Luciani, who plans on attending Villanova University, and Haley Scott, who will be attending County College of Morris in the fall. Best of luck to both of them. The New Jersey Seal of Biliteracy Award. Today's society is a global one. Being able to communicate in more than one language is a vital skill that will help our students meet the demands of the 21st century. The New Jersey Seal of Biliteracy is a special recognition that acknowledges graduating seniors for their ability to read, write, listen, and speak with proficiency in English as well as at least one other world language. The students attaining the seal will receive a special insignia on their transcript as well as a special diploma issued by the State of New Jersey Department of Education, which will give them a competitive edge in college and the workplace. I am pleased to congratulate the following four students who have earned the seal of biliteracy this year. Nora Omar Aga, Servando Bautista, Dania Valdez Bardalis, and Ackerley Hamir Hernandez. The Rick Slayton Writing Memorial Scholarship. This donation is given in memory of Rick Slayton by his parents. Rick was a former English teacher who died in February 2019. This annual scholarship is collected by Rick's family and friends to help honor his memory. 
Rick was an avid writer of poetry and novellas. This award is to be given to a student who plans to pursue a career in writing, journalism, or English education. I am proud to present this award to Maria Tao. Maria was nominated by her teacher, Mrs. Baum, who said, Maria knows that to study literature is to study humanity. An enthusiastic reader and thoughtful writer, Maria will excel as an English literature major as she brings her own experiences, insights, and interests to help connect herself and others to the world of words. Congratulations, Maria. The Butler Fire Department Ladies Auxiliary is very proud to award a scholarship to Tori Iluzo in hopes that this will help enable her to pursue her career in nursing at Felician University. Congratulations on your accomplishments and we wish you the very best in the future. The Student Council is an organization at BHS that serves the student body in a variety of ways. From kicking off the year with freshman orientation and the fall tailgate pep rally through homecoming, and year-long class color war contests. This group of individuals works tirelessly to ensure the fun-filled and positive climate here at Butler High School. Much appreciation goes out to each and every one of this year's executive board members. As elected leaders of the school, they continually work behind the scenes to help make students feel proud of BHS. This year's recipients have exemplified the values of what it means to be a Butler Bulldog. Together, they have all made Butler High School proud in their academic, athletic, and leadership achievements. They have served as this year's Executive Student Council President, Vice President, and the President of the Class of 2020, and we are more than pleased to congratulate the recipients of this year's Student Council Awards to Servando Bautista, Catherine Toscano, and Patrick Boley. I would now like to present Ms. Lynch, our STEAM supervisor, to present the next set of awards. Good evening. The Butler Music Award. Each year, the Band Booster Club gives scholarships to any band student that possesses a rare combination of excellent academics, musical talents, and commitment to the band program. The three students chosen this year have proven that and so much more. The three recipients this year are Rebecca Warga, Brianna Ziegler, and Taylor Sue. I wish you all the best in the future and please keep music in your lives. Congratulations. The National School Choral Award. The National School Choral Award is presented each year to a student who exhibits excellence among his or her peers while at Butler High School and demonstrates dedication to the vocal music department. This year, the award goes to Monica Jakubowski. The Carol McCracken Scholarship Award. The Carol McCracken Scholarship Award is given every year to the student or students who best exemplify the characteristics that make one successful in life. Among them, doing one's best, perseverance, and kindness above all. The recipients of this year's award are Julie Decker and Jenna Migliarino. The Martin F. Carr Scholarship Award. Marty Carr was a retired New York City police detective and then he was a New York State math teacher for 12 years before he retired and then came to Butler and served as our math supervisor. After he died, his family started and continues this award to honor the student with the highest average of all math courses taken here at BHS. This year's recipient had the highest combined average of all of their honors courses they took both AP courses within the math department and they also took a computer programming course. All of these courses within the math department. The winner of this year's Martin Carr Award goes to Andrew Thomas. The Choir Scholarship Award. A choir scholarship is given to seniors who demonstrate musical growth, commitment, and or outstanding performances over their four years of choir. All seniors in choir have the opportunity to apply for this scholarship. 
there are four winners for this. Brianne Stackhouse has improved tremendously over her four years in the Butler Concert Choir and was therefore awarded a scholarship. Jonathan Limey has also improved tremendously over his four years and therefore awarded a scholarship. Brianna Ziegler has been a member of Chamber Choir, Concert Choir, and Good as Gold, and one of the most dedicated students in the choir. And Monica Jakubowski has gone over and above, and she has been a member of Region Choir and Jazz Region many times in her four years at Butler High School, in addition to being in Concert Choir, Chamber Choir, and Good as Gold. Therefore, for her dedication and outstanding performances, she has been awarded the scholarship. The Performing Arts Association Award. The theater department of Butler High School recognizes commitment, leadership, creativity, and active participation and promotion of the many wonders of the performing arts. Because of their dedication and love for their craft, we would like to recognize the following seniors for this scholarship. Stage crew leader, Rebecca Warga, leads others by example and maturity. Her quiet resolve, conscientiousness, attentiveness, and organization under pressure exemplify the epitome of the best technical artist in the theater industry. Logan Murthis and his fun-loving spirit and willingness to try anything led to his nomination for the Montclair State University Outstanding Comedic Actor Award. His adventurous nature always kept us on our toes, made us laugh, and led all the performers on stage in the directions of creativity and fun. We are grateful for his constant reminder of the importance of childlike play and passion in his performance work. And Drama Club President Jonathan Limey brought tenacity, talent, and constant integrity to every production he participated in since his freshman year. His unfaltering commitment to the department, his love for the people involved, and dedication to the work mark him as the best type of performing artist, leaving behind deep footsteps for future theater leaders to follow. Congratulations to Jonathan, Logan, and Rebecca. The Stephen Ionatis Memorial Scholarship Award is presented by his uh, father, Ralph Iannotta. Steve Iannotta was a teacher and coach at Butler High School several times during his career. And anyone who knew Steve knew that he stood for excellence in the classroom and on the field. Whether it was AP biology or state football track and wrestling championships, Steve was a supportive coach and mentor. The Stephen Iannotta Scholarship Award is given to the senior who is strong in science and or math and is a scholar athlete. I have watched this particular recipient grow to be a strong leader in both academics and sports, and I'm, I'm not sure if this recipient ever knew Coach I on the football field or wrestling mat. However, I can tell you that my husband held him in his arms when he was a newborn baby. This year's recipient is Jacob Luciani, and today is Steve's birthday, so I'm sure he would be thrilled that Jake got this award. I would like to now welcome back Mr. Fitzgerald to present the final set of awards. It's an honor to present the Jeffrey Keenan Kindness and Compassion Award. Jeffrey Keenan always looked out for the underdog. During his Butler High School days, he went out of his way to befriend a disabled student. He made friends with many of his fellow students and was always ready to help someone in need. Jeff looked to help people and animals alike. One day while he was driving his to his job in Florida, he saw a truck hit a heron. The driver did not stop, nor did other cars. Jeff pulled off the shoulder of the road and put the heron in his car. He did a little research and found a bird sanctuary close by. He immediately brought the heron to the sanctuary. After a few months of rehabilitation, the bird was set free. The sanctuary contacted Jeff and let him know that because of his compassion, the bird made a complete recovery. Unfortunately, Jeff passed away way too young. This scholarship is being offered as the Jeffrey Keenan Kindness and Compassion Award, and I'd like to present it to Servando Batista because of his kindness and compassion to all the students of Butler High School and the staff as well. Congratulations, Servando. The Lakeland Bank Award. 
Lakeland Bank has hosted an annual scholarship golf outing for 46 years, and over that time has awarded over $2 million to local students pursuing a higher education. Lakeland Bank strongly believes that access to an affordable college education is vital for a vibrant and economically healthy community. This year, Lakeland Bank is presenting $225,000 to students from 78 private and public schools throughout the New Jersey and Orange County, New York. They are pleased to be able to provide an award to so many well-deserving academically successful students. Congratulations to the 2020 scholarship recipients, Taylor Sue and Amanda Osmolowski, and much success on your college journey. These are two great young women who are surely destined to have a bright, a bright future. The Morris County Caring Student of the Year Award. The Morris County Caring Student Award is given by school counselors of Morris County with the goal of honoring a student who is an unsung hero of Morris County. This year's recipient is humble and quiet, but has maximized her potential in many areas, especially in the category of helping others. Although there are many examples of, of her benevolence at Butler High School and in our community, her most notable act of kindness has been her courage and faithful volunteer work with the Red Bird Mission in Southeastern Kentucky. She has traveled there for four summers and worked on the homes of one of the poorest areas in the country. Her work included roofing, carpentry, painting, and refurbishing a K-12 school. She is undoubtedly one of the most caring, kind, and unselfish students that we have seen at Butler High School. We were able to celebrate her honor virtually a couple weeks ago, and it was great to see her at her house with a, with a, with a smile from ear to ear. We wish her the best of luck, congratulations, and this year's honor goes to Elizabeth Navs. Congratulations, and she'll be attending the Hobart and William Smith Colleges. Passaic County Unsung Hero Award. This year's Passaic County Unsung Hero Award is presented to a student who has modeled good citizenship, has overcome difficult challenges in life, and has exhibited a quiet spirit and strength that has inspired others. This student continually does the right thing even when no one is watching. This student comes to school each and every day with a smile on his face and is always the first to help others in any situation. He is respectful, considerate of others, and can always be counted on to help others before thinking about himself. I'm proud to present this year's award to Justice Struble. The Peer Leadership Award. The recipient of this year's Peer Leadership Award has been a member of, of Peer for the past three years, during which her last year she was the president of the program. Her leadership skills shined last year as this was a transition year for, for Peer with two brand new advisors. She offered constant guidance and direction to her advisors, ensuring we had a successful year. <clears throat> this year's recipient of the Peer Leadership Scholarship goes to Catherine Toscano. We wish Kate nothing but the best as she continues her journey at Rutgers next year. Kate will be greatly missed at Butler High School for, for sure. Congratulations, Kate. The Principal's Award. This year, the Principal's Award goes to two students. This was a very difficult award to choose only two people. I could have easily chosen 10 students on this list. The Principal's Award celebrates outstanding achievement by dedicated students in the realms of academics, sports, arts, and other contribu contributions to their school. These students personify the ideals of hard work, dedication, school spirit, and volunteerism. They represent Butler in everything they do and continue to try to better themselves each and every day. I had the pleasure to talk with these students each morning as they gathered for their daily announcements. It was one of my many highlights of the days when we were in school. Congratulations for the Principal Awards winners this year, Patrick Voley and Catherine Toscano. Congratulations. Now we have our Department Awards. The Department Awards are given to students with a passion for the subject that often means they have to take, take the most courses within that subject, have the highest average in these courses, or have been a leader within their classes. These students are chosen by the department faculty who consider and then decide on who will receive this honor. The recipients are, in English language arts, Amna Noor. In mathematics, Stanley Chen. In social studies, Elizabeth Nades. In science, Stanley Chen. In world language, Stanley Chen. In business, Patrick Monahan. In CAD, 
John Beck. In music, Logan Murthys. In fine arts, Thomas Batapede. In photo, James Pellegrino. In physical education, Andrew Balistrieri. And finally, in culinary arts, Alicia McBride. Congratulations to all. Our next award goes to the Perfect Attendance Awards. Perfect Attendance for your senior year. Thomas Batapede, Jody Bedell, Juan Gonzalez, Taylor Sue, Jacob Luciani, Alicia McBride, Alyssa Polito, and Joseph Voli. Congratulations. Perfect attendance for all four years. Marissa Bello, Stanley Chen, Patrick Monahan, and Patrick Voli. Congratulations to all. Our final and most significant award of the evening is the Butler High School Honor Roll Award. There is no money attached to this award, but it is the most prestigious award a Butler student can receive. I would like to now welcome Ms. Bignell to present our final award. I would like to congratulate all of the award winners and scholarship recipients that have been announced tonight. You have worked hard and have won the respect of your faculty. I hope you will always remember that you have another family and another home here at Butler High School. This final award is always presented as the last award of the evening and with good reason. This recognition is the most discussed and the most prestigious of all awards given. There are three plaques that hang in our main hallway to always remind us of the fine men and women that have been selected for such distinction. In addition to intellect, spirit, and involvement in activities, it speaks to a person's character. Character is something you show in front of others and especially when no one in particular is watching. I think this year's selection is a perfect choice. The Butler High School Honor Roll Award was established by the class of 1928 and was first presented to a member of the class of 1929. The award recognizes that member of the senior class who has best upheld in his or her life and work the ideals and traditions of the school, who has attained high scholarship, exemplifies a noble character, and has rendered loyal service. Many other classes of Butler High School have provided monies and plaques to ensure that this award will continue on. This award has stood the test of time and represents in the recipient all the basic values that are as important today as they were in 1928. There is absolutely no money associated with this award, but is the highest award and honor a Butler High School student could possibly receive. The Butler High School Honor Roll Award for 2020 is presented to Servando Batista. Congratulations, Servando. We wish him the best of luck as he enters Seton Hall in the fall. And now I'd like to invite back up our principal, Mr. Rory Fitzgerald, to close out the evening. Thank you all once again for making this a special evening. Before we say goodbye tonight, there is one more person I could, would like to recognize for outstanding contributions to the Butler School District. Ms. Gail Bignell is retiring after 44 plus years of service to Butler. She is a true bulldog who bleeds blue and gold for each and every student at Butler High School. I am sad that I only had the opportunity to work with her for a short period of time this year, but I can honestly say that she, she is the ultimate bulldog and has, a, has had a positive effect on countless students, staff, and community members during her tenure at Butler. We are very sad to see her retire, 
but knowing Ms. Pignell, I'm sure she will continue to be part of the fabric that makes up Butler for years to come. On behalf of everyone in the Butler community, congratulations to Ms. Pignell, and from the bottom of my heart, I thank you for making a difference in all of our students' lives. To our seniors, I leave you with the following quote from Michael Jordan. If you're trying to achieve, there will be roadblocks. I've had them, everyone has had them, but obstacles don't have to stop you. If you run into a wall, don't turn around and give up. Figure out how to climb it, go through it, or work around it. As you leave Butler High School, take all that you have earned and be proud, but don't stop. There is so much more to achieve. Set new goals, find new successes, and figure out a way to navigate around those walls. Always remembering that you'll always be a bulldog. Good night and stay safe.